see that duck. Anyway, greetings and salutations, my friends. We're here at Raspberry Rock. And it's an okay day. Yesterday was like windy and raining and crap. And anyway, we're back. Lots of people ask us about our water situation and, and our dog situation. Um, the dogs are fine. This is our water filtering system. It's uh, where we get our, our drinking water and our cooking water. Unless we're doing like stuff like potatoes. If we're doing like cooking potatoes and then pouring out the water, then we just use rainwater. Um, but yeah, so the rainwater, um, and we only use rain from the, sorry, water from the rain barrels. We don't take it from the pond. The pond is stagnant. It's full of sediment. It's, you know, beavers poop in it kind of thing. It's just nasty old stuff. And we could potentially put that through the system, I think, but I don't even want to try it just in case, right? So just rainwater. I'm wrong with Junebug's butt. <laughs> so the way this works is uh, rainwater goes in the top. It goes through these two filters and then um, it drips into the... Ah, it's stuck. <laughs> the lid's stuck. Come on, man. Okay, there we And it goes into the bottom and that's your clean water. And then... <laughs> that's really heavy. And then, like, every couple of days I just manually scoop the water out of the bottom one into our, our water dispenser in the kitchen. And that's our um, that's our filtering system and it's worked great. What we found though recently, now that City Girl is living here because of the COVID thing, um, it's not quite keeping up and then that's partially also due to the age of the uh, the filters as well. Like they, I've been using them for a couple of years, we put a lot of water through them and you know they just don't work as well as they once did. So. My solution, <laughs> hold on, I gotta get my solution. So my solution uh, is to put two more filters in. I just heard an owl, and is it snowing? Is it snow? <laughs> what? Ugh. I'm a little concerned with this packaging. It's got bubbles all around it, except for this side. I hope it wasn't damaged in shipping. Um, yeah, I'm sure that sounds like an owl. So, uh, yeah, my solution was just, just to put two more filters in there. Dr drill two more holes and put two more filters in. However, I'm a little concerned. I couldn't find the exact same filters. And the comments under these filters were that uh, water goes through them way faster than it should. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like, we don't need, as I said, the rainwater here, we could pretty much just drink the rainwater. It's um, There's nothing wrong with it. Um, so I'm okay with uh, with not worrying too much about what it's filtering out, but I, I, I do want them to work though, right? I want them to filter out stuff. So what I'm going to do, instead of just, um, if I drill two holes and put these in, then I decide they suck and I hate them, I'm going to be in a bit of a bind because then I'll have <laughs> two holes in here. Um, so what I'm going to do, brace for impact. So I thought what I'd do is i test them first. Yeah, that looks a lot taller than that, doesn't it? Uh, it'll still work though. So I'm gonna, I've got this number 10 can here that used to have wonderful, wonderful beef stroganoff, emergency freeze-dried food, and one of City Girl's hairs. I don't know how that happens. Uh, so I'm gonna drill a hole in this, uh, put this in there, and unfortunately, or I guess fortunately for us, unfortunately for this video, the water in the rain barrels right now is really clean and clear, so um, it's, I guess it's just going to be a taste test. Although I've tasted the water coming out of the rain barrels and it's actually pretty decent, so <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell if this actually works. And I'm, I'm certainly not going to use pond water. Uh, anyway, we'll do it and we'll see. Maybe I'll learn something. I don't know. I gotta move this. This is actually really hard to move. You can't really pick up both at the same time because it's really top heavy. You'll just, you'll lose it. So you gotta move one, but then there's, you got the, the bottoms of the filters sticking out the top barrel or the top bucket. So you can't just put it down anywhere. You gotta be really careful with that. So yeah, Maybe if I line up two of these pieces of two by four. All right. Maybe I'll get a, a decent look at the bottom of this while I pick this up. Oh, the lid keeps sticking to it. Uh, can you see them? <laughs> oh. Oh, poor 
perfect. And then I can just sit this down. There. And we're in this. Where did I put it? It's actually smaller than the uh, the than the other ones. So I gotta find a drill bit that's close in size. And it does look like it's got a rubber grommet on it. That's good news. Okay, let me get this set up. Yeah, it's definitely snow. <laughs> it's doing snowing. Not any really good bits for drilling uh, metal cans. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole, and then I'm gonna use. This is a mason masonry bit. I don't know. I'm gonna carefully measure the center of the can. very carefully drill that hole. And now I've got a very sharp, uh, jagged hole there. Uh, so it tells me I should have drilled that from the top. But... Okay, i got to find a way to smooth that out. like three times now. Uh, that's good. Oh, it's <laughs> it's concave bottom. Okay. We'll find some. something that will work. Damn it! Two by two. Oh, this is the worst fucking thing I've ever done. Okay, so I actually had to drill it a bit bigger and oh, shoot, and then try and uh, work with the file and my multi-tool to try and make it, make it a bit smoother. Put the rubber thing on, and then uh, I'm able to just like screw it in. <laughs> Crank these down a, a little tight, but like not so tight that you strip the threads. The threads are just plastic. Oh, there we go! Huzzah! Now I need another container to sit on top of. Boy, you'd think Russell would have thought of these things before he started filming, but no, that wouldn't be Russell. That that would be like that would be that would be Sean James. <laughs> I got this container. I just cleaned it, in fact. But not for the... I didn't... Wow. Really? Huzzah! There's still a lot of space down there. I guess that's the rubber part. How am I going to know if this works? Okay, I have some rain water here. And something to pour it in. Um, as I said, the rainwater looks pretty damn clean. Though. All right, here we go. First test of the filter. Nothing. Get 
continues to be nothing. How long should this take? We're like almost to the top. Uh, first run take longer. I don't know. So it's coming through. Um, I have. I haven't seen the instructions that come with this, but I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to let it um, filter a bunch of water and throw it out, and then and then after that you can drink what comes through. So, um, but I'm not sure. I can't even get up to the top here, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Anyway, I'm gonna let that go for now. So I let this um, go for an hour or so, maybe even a bit longer, and I wouldn't say it's any faster than uh, those other filters. If it is, it might just because it's, might be because it's new. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I mean, I, and I, I was looking at the instructions again, and it didn't say anything about um, having to uh, uh, let it run once. There's a hole in the table here. I'm trying to find it with the, the end. It doesn't say anything about um, letting water run through it for a while first. Um, he's like, water! Uh, so I really see no harm in just uh, installing it in this bucket. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to install both of them in the bucket. This bucket. Can you see that bucket? Is it hiding? It's hiding. Doesn't want to be on camera. I'm probably not going to show that part because <laughs> you've already seen me do it here, and uh, uh, and it wasn't that brilliant, was it? You don't watch my videos for how tos, do you? I mean, it's kind of like Russell does this thing. I should probably not do it that way. This is like a not to. It's not a how to. It's a not to. Not do it this way. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it today. It's getting late in the day and I, um, I have to deal with all the water that's in there right now. Yeah. Shut up. Um, yeah, so watch for Friday's video. Um, can you guess what day it's going to come out on? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and drink this delicious water. I could just leave it. I could just leave it. I need a bigger container, though. Yeah, I need a bigger container. I could just leave it. I could just leave it in. If I had a bigger container, I'd just leave it. I said that three times now. And I could just let it run. And we'll use that water as well. For now, until I'm. As my water's still running out of it onto the floor and splashing me. Okay. Anyway, Friday's video is coming out on Friday. Uh, so check for it then. And we'll see you. Then, be soon. All right, here's what I got. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Not gonna go anywhere. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? Now I can just pour it into my mouth or something. Yeah! Oh, beavers! Beavers! Yeah. They live in water. They care. Oh, those are ducks. <laughs>